didn't record this guy. Huh? I'm going when he goes in the Best Buy. He he always talk about his little budget. I'm gonna go in. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up some stuff. And let's see what he says. It's Christmas. 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 Each year. Christmas. Christmas. Write your Christmas list. a continuation right about now from day 10 which we are right now on day 11 we're getting there with the vlog miss all the way till christmas 2025 2000 shit my mind is blank y'all i meant to say day 25 so right now it's dinner time i'm in the kitchen i know we got a lot of food up in here i don't know what to make you know what i'm saying i hate unfrozen knives and shit so I'm going to make me something easy, maybe something y'all want to try that I'm about to show you guys here, Real Raw and Uncut, on this channel, baby. I got some Doritos right there, and I'm making me some nachos with Doritos. As you guys already know, the Doritos got the nacho cheese on it with some finely fresh shredded cheese right there. I think that's Mexican-style cheese right here. Then for my meat, I'm going to use the rest of this bacon bits. And I'm going to put some um, salsa on it. So hopefully I got some sour cream. This is what we are going to have for dinner. This is what I'm having for dinner. <laughs> Since Miss Gamer Glam wants to diss me and tell me that I'm on my own for dinner. I'm going to die up in here, y'all. So as I, as I let my food warm up in this killer cancer causing microwave is what they call it in the roundy stores. Yeah, if you guys want to send the Big Bear Bro something for Christmas, I'm going to put it out there. You guys can by VA and cash apping that's going across the screen right now. And you guys can tell me uh, what you want me to get out of your donations and I will present it in the video. Hook your boy up. Like my boy said, Chess says, what is up, said Chess? Stop being cheap. <laughs> but uh, if you can't, all I want you to do is give me a lot of likes on these vloggings. A lot of likes on my other videos. And I'm telling you guys, I'm seeing the analytics going really, really good because it's telling me that y'all are liking these vlogs. You know what I'm saying? I'm, it's telling me that these vlogs are the strongest points, the, the strongest content on my channel. And I feel it's been like that for a long time. Game Boss been telling me. Game Boss, you know, he's a very, very good helper. You know, he gives me all the recommendations on YouTube and uh, you know, he, he, he reaches out and, and, and tries to tell me what videos I should be doing. Sometimes I'm a knucklehead, bro, but I get around to it sometimes, you know. I get around to it, but it's all good, though. But I, I know some of y'all, a, a lot of y'all liking these vlogs. And y'all probably wondering, am I going to keep doing them? Yes, I'm going to keep doing them after Vlogmas is over with. But I'm going to take me a long-ass, probably a month break from posting. I'm still going to record some videos along the way and stack them up and then, you know, bring them to you guys when I'm ready to actually go full force back into the vloggings. You know what I'm saying? But this is going to be my first vlogmas that I ever went full force through for you guys. You guys get what I'm saying? Because I, I, I want to do this out of my heart and energy for you guys. That's, that's why I say like the videos, share them around, tell people to come check me out. The channel has been doing good. It's been growing. It's it's been doing very very good, and this is what I like. and And I appreciate you guys because it was from the help of y'all guys. You know what I'm saying? Real raw, no cut. It smells like I just burnt something. Oh man, let's see what we got going on here. Our Doritos nachos, do it right there with bacon on it. As you guys can see right here, I'm so mad because I don't have any sour cream. But this will have to do for tonight. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna chill for about an hour. And I'm going to take my nap and I'm going to wake up for the night and play me some Call of Duty or something like that. Oh, yeah. It is morning time. 
because it's St. Nicholas. It's not St. Nicholas. It is morning time with St. Nicholas. Get your Christmas list. It is morning time. And I'm in my draws, deck the halls. It is morning time with St. Nicholas. Yeah. So get your Christmas list. Yeah. It is morning time. I'm in my draws, deck the halls. <laughs> Ooh, my face is crusty today. Flex, son. Flex. Look at that. You got the Superman chest. Let me see your arms, man. Let me see what you've been doing, man. No, you got flex both arms, bro. Damn, bro. You about Damn, you about to get the girls, bro. You better let them know, man. You better let them know. You hey, you about to be a marine killer. Hey, you training. What you at level what? What level you think you are? Level Give me a level. What level you think you made it to? What level are you at in your mind? What level? You, huh? Two. You at level two? <laughs> yeah, you got a long way to go. Level 100. Yeah. But yeah, but that's how you do it, though. That's how you do it, though. He said he's level two. River on the uncut with my fat ass. I'm level like, <laughs> I'm level like 100 calories stuck in my body with all the sodium and shit, y'all. So, yeah, uh, hey, it is what it is. I'm going to lose this weight. I'm going to, I'm going to be level 100, too. You know what I'm saying? But. When you get about 40 years old, all that shit start hitting you. But it is what it is. But I'm up this morning, y'all. Y'all better be lucky I'm happy because I'm having another, another good day. I was supposed to get up and go chill with my boy Santana's playing Call of Duty last night. I have I, I laid down at 10.30. I said, hold on, I'm going to get up at 12.30. I don't think that even happened. I think I just kept pressing my alarm. And I woke up, kept pressing it. And now I woke up this morning and I'm regretting it. It is Santa time. No, it's not, but it's me, St. Nicholas. Y'all better get ready for Christmas. Just don't be naughty. Because I'm taking your Christmas list. It's me, St. Nicholas. Deck the halls in the morning time. I'm in my deck on draws. And I say deck the halls. <laughs> another, 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 another fresh bag of Doritos. Where I can eat the Doritos. And my breath smells like feet and toes. Doritos. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. From Big Bear Bro, a.k.a. St. Nicholas. Not St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas. Yo, what's up, y'all? But like I said, y'all, I've been having that Beyonce song stuff. <laughs> we gonna fuck up today. That's right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna fuck up today. <laughs> See, I know all, I know all the words. I could just hum them. That's how I know all the words, y'all. Well, yeah. You hear? here? Brush your teeth? I don't know why I'm brushing my goddamn teeth, bro. Shit. I got one missing looking like a fucking snag or two. Shit. Okay, I get that hit, though. That was Mountain Dew's fault. I should sue Mountain Dew. You know what I'm saying? I was young and dumb. Yeah, Motherfuckers walk around. Yeah, you keep talking shit. You gonna get another tooth knocked out, bitch. I ain't never got my ass whooped in a fight. Never. Well, I can say almost I did. Almost by a fucking midget. But I whooped that bitch's ass. I'm telling you guys. You guys don't want to fight. I'm telling you. Y'all don't want to fucking fight a midget. Midget is not nice. A midget. A little person. A motherfucking midget. I was on the bus in this little... I, I forgot. Yeah, I was in middle school. This damn little ass midget dude that I know, he was talking shit. He had a little midget sister. I said, man, you ain't gonna whoop nobody ass. Man, 
man, I, I got off the bus. I posted up to that midget. Next thing you know, that midget turned around so fast. Pow! I know I was dizzy as shit. I ain't tell y'all this story. I was dizzy as shit. I turned around, caught my conscience, and whooped that midget's ass. Then I went to work. Because I remember my dad was my first supervisor. He was my first ever supervisor. That hired me at uh, Popeye, no, KFC. Because he was a he, he became a manager after he got out the army and shit from retirement. Full drill sergeant. Hoorah! Yeah, all the way. 60-something years, I think, in there. So, I remember he took me to work. Man, I was laid out in the back under the thing where they stacked the, like, flour and stuff. My dad was like, yeah, that boy got you good, huh? I was like, yeah, he, he fucked me up. That midget fucked me up with one punch. Like, damn. But I told my dad, I said, I fucked him up, though. So I got on the bus the next day. He got on the bus talking about, yeah, yeah, y'all saw that fight yesterday. I whooped Junebug's ass. It was like, Junebug whooped your ass. <laughs> I remember that shit. That's one fight I remember. Another fight, too. I had this dude. I forgot his damn name. He was talking shit. I went directly to his house and fought him in his front yard. Y'all remember back? See, back in the day, shit, y'all, we threw down. We ain't use no pat, 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 pat. We threw down. We went to the motherfucking house, and we threw down right there. We was cool, like, next couple of days. You know what I'm saying? We was cool. We, we ain't doing this punk sissy bitch shit. Talk him out. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go pull up. Pat, pat, pat. Nah, nigga. We had fists, and we still motherfucking fight with the fists today. So you young G-Zen, G-Zen, more, I mean, Hami, Hami, Ha, Double Dragon, whatever, Dragon Ball Z, little motherfuckers that are born right now, ain't born back in my day, sit your ass down. Man, I'll fuck a motherfucking little Gen Z motherfucker up coming around here talking shit. Man, please, man. Y'all little cancel culture motherfuckers need to sit the fuck down somewhere. Shit, trying to come, trying to come puff up. You gotta puff your ass back down, boy. Whoop your ass 80, 90 style in this bitch, man. You better go. Hey, you better tell him, Miss K. You better tell him, Miss Game of Glenn. You better tell him, Game Boss. You better tell him, Say Chase. You better tell him, Tony. Real raw and uncut. You better tell him, Android. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. You better tell him, Ty Hooks. Real raw and uncut. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? You better tell him, Derek Angus. Hey, you better tell him. You better tell him, Legendary Gary Shaker Milk. You better tell them, Ty Hooks, if I already said your name. You guys already know how it goes down, y'all. Yeah. You better let them know. You better let them know. They ain't whooping no asses up in here. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Tell them, Legendary Gary, we West Coast in this bitch. Whoop. Pow. Ain't that right? <laughs> yeah. You better tell them, Spider. That's what's up, y'all. It is what it is. I'm having a good motherfucking day. Don't fuck with me, y'all. Yeah. Y'all can call me crazy all you want. I'm going on a Kanye West rant. <laughs> I'm on a Kanye West rant. I'm crazy right now. I'm going to drink this whole bottle of Listerine. I'm going to kill this motherfucker. Let me kill it. Uh -uh. Hell no. Nah. I ain't fucking my goddamn organs up. Fucking up my goddamn day. Mm. 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 Ah. <sighs> That's how you got to fight the burn baby. You gotta fight that burn. I ain't talking about burning like with herpes and shit like motherfucking Ursh, uh, Usher's ass and shit. Hell fucking no. But anyways, though, I love you guys out there. To the ones that's been actually for many, many years supporting the straight up reviews all the way up to the Fat Boy Gamer right here to the Big Bear Bro. Y'all know who y'all are. Fuck y'all to the ones that act like y'all can't come Support a bro by coming, give me a, a like, rate, comment, subscribe, sharing my videos, leaving me hanging, leaving me underrated, but it's all good though. Like I said, this Gen Z shit, this cancel culture bullshit, they love motherfucking fake shit. 
You know what I'm saying? If, it's, if I was fake, they're going to come over here and try to give me my motherfucking flowers. Fuck that shit. I told y'all, y'all, I'm old school YouTuber creator on this motherfucker. Y'all better get it right. And some of y'all people out there that straight up reviews, can you help me? Give me a shout out. The ones back in the day that I helped out. I see y'all on the top and I try to reach out to y'all. Y'all act like y'all don't know me. Fuck you. <laughs> but when y'all do that, y'all don't last because y'all been fake with it. Yeah, I'm calling y'all out. Y'all been fake with it. I can say names, but I don't want to say no names. I can, but why don't I want to give them the motherfucking clout? And they know they in their mind they ain't real with themselves. How do you look like that by not being real with yourself? Then you come crying talking about, oh, no, what happened to my channel? I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know. You know what the fuck going on with you. Why are you acting like that? Why are you acting fake? <laughs> then you got the ones that when you mention like, hey, man, hook a bro with a donation, a dollar or something. And they've been coming to your stream all the damn time, you know, having your great, fun, entertainment company. You be like, hey, man, you know what? Blah, 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 blah. They want to talk your damn head off and shit. But then when you mention like, hey, bro, you ain't put your little dude in. You ain't hooked the homie up, man. What's up? What's up with that? Then they get ghosts. Like, oof. <laughs> then you don't see them no more. <laughs> they don't come in your comments no more. But I guaranteed you, they be L-U-R-K-I-N-G. They be lurking. They straight be lurking. <laughs> but yeah, so, hey, algorithms. No, not algorithm. Analytics on YouTube tell it all. I tell you, I tell my boy Game Boss, I was like, man, they be lying to me, bro. I know when y'all watch the full video, I know when y'all have it. Y'all wonder why I stopped this shit. Y'all be like, why'd you stop that shit? Because y'all don't support the shit. Y'all want it, you got to support it. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep the train rolling. Y'all going to support Walmart and Target and the corner store and the dollar store and all that motherfucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to support fake-ass creators, but y'all can't support... Real creators like me and real other creators out there that are doing it real wrong the cut. Shit backwards, y'all. It's fucking backwards. I gotta fucking go. Shit, but what's up talking about real people? Two base on my lips. So now that we are past vlog number 10, we have 15 more motherfucking days until Christmas, y'all. 15 more days until Christmas. I know, right? Then we got... Hold up. Is it 15 days? Hold up. Huh? We got three weeks until, damn, 2023. I, I, I already thought it was 2023 because I was at work putting down 2023. Shit. But yeah, so, y'all lucky. I know a lot of y'all been asking me for these vlogs. And I looked in the um, analytics and people are, like I said, people are watching them. People are watching them. I could tell by the viewerships, the viewer potato chips, what people are doing. You know what I'm saying? Real, raw, it ain't good. Yeah. But I'm going to go out for a little bit. I normally don't go out this early, but since I'm up and I slept uh, about, I think I slept, I think I laid down about like nine o'clock, something like that. I ain't even washed my damn face. Shit. Life is hard. Try to keep up with your goddamn face and get the crusties out. Gotta go in here and wash my face. So we got this hungry ass cat that's been coming to our house for about two months. She comes, we feed her outside, and she disappears for about about three days and shows back up. Um, I let her in the house for a minute, just a couple of times, and she's kind of scared. But you know, she comes in and be curious, and then she goes back out. And we named her Sammy, so I'm about to show you guys. And we're about to feed her, so we bought her some Nine Life Daily Essential. Ever since I gave this cat wet food, she will not eat the dry food. But she's going to have to eat this shit from now on. She's going to have to know who's the boss. Come on, let's let's take you guys to her. Here's the cat, Sammy, right there. See her? Sammy! Tell him what's up. This is the cat right here, Sammy. She likes to come and say what's up when she wants to eat something. She got a little toy. <laughs> she like it. <laughs> she is trying, but look, look, she like to rub up on stuff too. She is trying hard to, to live here in this house, but we don't know what to do with her. It's like 
do we take her to the vet to spend money on her i don't want to spend money on her and she just disappeared and we never see her again but she always comes back so i think she's a wild cat because she don't have a lease sammy collar. Uh, well a collar that's what i meant to feed sammy come on sammy sammy she over there in her own world here she comes <laughs> here what do you want that's water for you here you want to eat this dry food girl yeah you got nine lives <laughs> yeah you better eat that nine lives you better get more lives because i don't know what you've been doing out here she spoiled she is she eating it yeah she eating it now. Yeah, uh, she, she must like that one. one she must not like the other one Oh yeah, there she go. Cause he wasn't trying to eat the she other gonna come back. See, we got a nine lives. She loved nine lives <coughs> over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she gonna eat that nine lives. Yeah, that's Sammy though. Yeah, she, she always oh, okay. We are up again. Top of the morning on this Saturday. Yeah, y'all. Hope you guys is having a great Saturday. This weather don't know what it wanna do. This weather wanna be cold. This weather wanna be hot. Another cat? Who's that? Oh, let's name that cat. Who's that cat? Yeah, a cat? bunch of these cats are like really. I don't know. We can oh, name yeah. we can name that cat Salt and Pepper. Oh yeah, that's good name. <laughs> <laughs> that's Salt and Pepper. Yo, we got these uh, wild cats or whatever these random cats that walk around. We be naming these cats. We got Sammy. We got one that uh, had like orange and uh, white. I named her uh, Orange Pop. Who else we got? Uh, one we got over here boots. by the boots live over here by the church, and Larry. No, Larry. I ain't seen Larry ain't lately. Seen Larry in a while so well, let's go to Lido. Walmart. Walmart. What's that Walmart? You going in? No. Go oh. <laughs> Would you got some gifts from Walmart too? Don't worry about it. The neighborhood Walmart or the regular Walmart? Don't worry about it. Why you being all mean in the morning? We ain't got time for all that. We ain't got time for all that right now. I'm in a good spirit right now. You ride, you ride with uh, Saint Saint Nicholas right now. You gotta think of a name for your name, huh? Saint Nicholas in the morning, y'all. What's up, y'all? Hashtag Saint Nicholas, not Saint Nicholas, Saint Nicholas. Y'all better not hashtag that. Cause as a matter of fact, we do need some damn black Santa Claus. And. Me and, me and Glam, we was watching, um, what's that show we was watching about the Santa Claus trying to be black or whatever? Santa What's the name of the show? Santa Claus. It was some show, I think Santa it was Claus on um, Santa Claus Camp. You know, where the African, you know, where they try to audition for um, African American Santa Claus. Oh. Man, huh? Is that show all wrong? What is it about then? It was about Santa Claus is going to camp to learn how to be yeah, yeah, they, they was going to camp to learn how to be Santa Claus. This was their first time integrating a black Santa Claus and Santa Claus with disabilities. Yeah, it was their first time inter trans integrating a trans transgender rainbow Santa Claus, black a Santa uh, Claus, black Santa Claus, what else? A disabled Santa, a disabled Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Um, yeah, I don't know and what else other kind of that traits they got up out there? But anyways, y'all, you know, there's been a lot of hate with trying to get a black Santa Claus in this world. You know, people yeah, people be hating on us, y'all. They know that we can't be no black Santa Claus going down people's uh, chimneys and going in the house. There'll be some damn killings for black Santa Claus going to these people's houses. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't gonna be able to go in and go get the damn cookies. They gonna shoot us on spot. Talking about we trying to rob y'all. So instead of you know the Caucasian Santa Claus eat cookies, what are the black Santa Claus gonna eat when we go in the chimney? What do Black Santa Claus eat that you guys put out on Christmas? Let me know in the comments, huh? No, it can't be cookies. It gotta be. It, it gotta be something traditional that we that we gonna have. What a bowl of chitlins, bowl of greens. How about a how about how about a plate of chicken? <laughs> it ain't being racist. It's a watermelon Kool Aid. How about that? No, I'm playing right now. <laughs> hey, I can say it. I'm black. Shit. I'm Saint Nicholas. Oh yeah! So, right here we're at the store called Lido. Oh, the trunk popped open. We're right here at the store called Lido, as you guys can see. Uh, Glam comes to the store every, sometimes every Sundays or Saturdays, to get some good stuff up out of here. They got some good pastry stuff in here. 
And I'm hoping that they got the ginger beer sodas in here. That's why I'm here early. Because I really don't come here early this morning. So hopefully they have something in here. Because I missed that ginger beer. Craft, craft beer. Sodas. Craft soda. That, that's what it's called. I can't find it nowhere online. If anybody knows, let me know. It's called ginger soda. Yeah. Nice bunch of snacks over here. Christmas. Ooh, you buying some of those? Huh? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what this is. Bunch of Christmas cookies. Look like they taste uh, spicy. Spice. I don't know. They look like it. I don't know. You know, I'm going to eat them, though. I'm going to eat them. You ain't got to put them back. Um, I don't know. I don't know what they taste like. Probably um, cinnamon or something. You going to keep those other ones? Oh, you know, I want to eat them. I think I remember these when I was a little kid. Yup. Mom used to buy these all the time. But um, they didn't have their chocolate. Why you put those back? Oh. I wonder what this is right here. Let me get one of these breads. Hold up. I want these nice big old breads down here. Big good stuff. Man. I don't know what this is. A lot of German stuff. This is the famous Lidl store as you guys can see. This is the reason why my ass can't lose weight when I want to lose weight. Look at this. Game boss, this is for you, bro. You know your boy about to grab some of these when I leave the store. Oh, yes. Maybe a couple of, um, they don't even have my favorite uh, little crunchy little things right there. Those ain't my favorite. These, they don't even have them out. Oh, there they go right there. I love these maples right here, y'all. These are good. Yes. Yes, baby. In here with the yummies and woes right here. I'm gonna get put these in the car. I ain't gonna go over your budget. Cause you can't hurt yourself. Yeah. About to get those right there. Christmas be coming out with all the good candies. I remember all this stuff right here too when I was young. See that right there? The hollow Santa Claus. Yeah. They need to come out with a chocolate one of me called St. Nicholas. That's going to be coming next year, though, y'all. Y'all stay tuned for that. Yeah. I'm going to go over here see if they got that. Sodas I've been looking for. Hopefully, they got the craft stuff over here. If not, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be sad, y'all. They got grapefruit stuff over here. I don't see it. Where are you at? Huh. I don't need no soda in the house. Don't need no soda in the house. Just the little craft beer things I've been looking for on Lido. I don't see it. Where are you at? <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't see you. But yeah, I do see something over here really, really cool, though, that I might grab. Over here. Let's see what we got going on right here. Now, I don't know what this is right here. Apple cranberry sparkling. Right here. Right there. I'm going to have to try this. Let me know if you guys tried this already. I'm telling y'all, Lito be having some cool stuff here and there. You know, everybody looking at me all crazy with my Santa hat on. I keep trying to tell them I'm saying nigga list. So I'm going to grab two of these and I know I'm going to hear Miss Glam's mouth because she said she's on a budget. But when you with my fat ass, you was not on a motherfucking budget because I'm going to get my shit for my man K. You guys already know. You better tell him game boss. You better tell him Miss K. Yeah. See that right there? They $3.99. Get two of them for eight bucks. Real raw and uncut. Right there. I'm going to grab two of them since I can't find my sodas. That's all I need. And I'm going to hear her mouth. I already know. Oh, man. I had to bring something in this vlog for the gamers. You guys already know what this is right here. We got that Mario Kart Hot Wheels racetrack. Man. I should get it, though. 
It's only like $29, $30. Oh, they got something else over here too. Yo, they got a lot of Mario shit up in here. Yo, look at that. I think this one look better. I think, see, Luigi stuff be looking way better than the Mario stuff. You guys already know here. You got that right there. Might come back and get that. Oh, they got another one in here too. Let me show y'all right here. Right here. Right there. The plant one. That thing looks cool. You know what? I probably can get these and probably scalp the shit up out of these. Don't tell nobody, y'all. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Got a couple of these uh, Mario plushies here. I wonder how much are these Mario plushies? They nine dollars. Got Mario, Luigi. Got the Yoshi right here. Get ready for that Mario movie I see probably. That's coming out. I know a bunch of y'all about to go see that too as well. But um, that's all the racetrack they got here. I don't see one of Princess Peach or nothing like that. But yeah, like I said, the store lead will be having some good stuff. So yeah, right there looking nice and clean, baby. See, I told you guys they got the gummies here. I told you they got the holiday gummies here, Lido. But these ones right here are pretty much different. We gonna have to grab me some of these right here. Oh yeah, we gonna have to grab me some of these. I might definitely hit her damn mouth now. Maybe I can sneak this in the cart, hold on. Look what I found. <sighs> what? Babe, it's just those, you, we get those every year. Why are you tripping? This is why I don't like going to the store with Gregory. Huh? I don't like going to the store with you. Why? Because I'm trying, I try to stick to my budget. Who you Babe, it's only like $20 I done spent. That ain't even $20. That's my budget. Huh? Where, where your budget? Yeah. You gotta have a good day, boo. Have a lovely day. What are you talking about? Look at all this goodies. Are we, oh, we making meatballs today? We have hamburgers. So, so when can, okay, so when you, have you hamburgers. Know, when you jump in the Best Buy, I'm gonna jump in with you and I'm gonna start picking out some stuff. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Okay. You don't even go in Best Buy. What are you talking no, I'm about? Start, though. <laughs> you ain't gonna start we, going uh, nowhere. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna record this guy. Uh -huh. we're going when he goes in the Best Buy. He he always talk about his little budget. <laughs> I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna pick up some stuff and let's see what he. Y'all see how she doing me? She doing me dirty, y'all. She doing me dirty. She doing me dirty. Y'all better get her. <laughs> but nah. She, huh? I ain't ruining no budgets. That's because every time I, you tell me, make your grocery list. And you get everything on your I don't get everything on my grocery list. Y'all be coming back. Y'all be jipping me. Y'all be straight. Yo, look, y'all. They be straight jipping me on the damn grocery list. I ask for two things. They bring back one. Talking about shit. And she talking about, I don't need it. A whole lot. Don't, don't be lying to the internet now. You can't tell you me every time I make my grocery list, I don't get everything. Y'all yeah. better vouch for me in the comments. Y'all let me know if y'all have made a grocery list for y'all significant others, and you tell them what they want. They come back with something different, or they come back with nothing. Y'all see these candies too? These are pretty pretty good chocolates right here. Yo, they got the white chocolate hazelnut. They got the dark chislock. They got the white chislock. Right here. Oh, they got dark chocolate hazelnuts. Right here. First of all, they got the dark chocolate almond. Real raw and uncut. They got some chocolate chocolate sticks. Real raw, real uncut. Uh, yeah, we got. I think we got a whole bunch of blueberries left. So yeah, and they ninety five cent on sale. Look at that. Got me this yummy little jelly filled donut. Look at that. It tastes soft and yummy. Yeah. Buy one, get one free. So. I got crackhead lips. Yeah. So anyways. We back from Lido. Showing all the stuff that I picked up for my man cave refrigerator as I stock when I'm running low. I got these gummy bears. These are from a different company. Um, yeah, these these, these, these put those back. Those are mine. No, because those candy bars I try to grab, you wouldn't even <laughs> let me get them. And you're gonna grab a damn stick that costs way. Those sticks cost two dollars, 
and my candy bar costs 99 cents a piece. These sticks cost $1.99. Oh, beat on face. But yeah, so I got me the every year gummies right there. But these are made by a different company right there. Got me these right here. Cottage cheese, five for five dollars, as you guys already know. Uh, she, Glam, got her these chocolate butter biscuit cookies, whatever these are. Uh, they look like they taste like gingerbread, but yeah, my mom used to buy these, but without the chocolate on the side, though. And I got me this right here. The German sweet bread right here. Marzipan. Marzipan right here. I think I had that last year. I think it did, but it was a different flavor though. So, yeah. Uh, Yo, what's up? Watch the bullet train. I actually fell asleep. I think I fell asleep because I got the itis. I ate the sauce, salty ass, salty ass hearty super biscuit. And that shit was salty. I had to hurry up and get my blood pressure pills and take that shit. Now I got to drink a lot of water and wash that shit out. But I would never buy that goddamn hearty super biscuit again. And I think the reason why I take so damn salty is because I don't have any salt in my house. I mean, I have salt with little stuff that I eat. But I'm talking about like salt that I pour on my food and all that. I don't have none of that in my house. And that's the reason why. Because maybe my taste buds is like really, really bussing. But that salty damn super biscuit from Hardy's was... Nasty as a motherfucker, but yeah, I want to tell you guys about. I'm gonna tell you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on here. Hold on, hold on. You guys remember the cookies that Miss Gamer Glam accused me of eating? All the other cookies. I want to tell you guys these good Christmas cookies to go get. Right here, right here. We got two of them, real, raw, and uncut. Two more. Yeah. So she can't blame me because these ones are almost gone, but. Don't act like our fat asses sit around just eating cookies all day. Because we eat like one, two, two cookies a day out of these things. We're raw and uncut. But yeah, these are pretty, pretty good. If you guys love your tasty cake cookies, go get them. Because you guys already know the holidays. Once the holidays is over, they don't sell these cookies no more. I don't know where she got them from. I think she got them from the dollar, family dollar, dollar store. I don't know. They got so many of them damn things around in this damn ghetto area. It's kind of crazy. And that's what St. Nicholas has said to you. Real raw and uncut. And I got these worms yesterday. Super worms. Got 36 of them, as you guys can see. Right there. As you guys already know. But those are for my geckos. You know what I'm saying? They love those super worms. They love them, love them, love them, love them to death. So, in the beginning of my video, I told you guys I was looking for the Lido Craft Soda Ginger Beer. I can't find them nowhere. And luckily, I ran into these right here. The apple cranberry sparkling right there. So they come in the same bottles as the ginger craft, the, the ginger beer sodas. If you guys know what these are. So I wanted to try these and I bought two of them. So I got eight of them. So these right here are going to pretty much last me until next year because for the simple fact is that I tell you guys that I pretty much, I pretty, pretty much drink stuff like this in moderation and eat candy in moderation. Because like I said, I cut back on a lot of stuff and I'm still on that weight loss journey and stuff. You still can be on a weight loss journey and still eat the stuff that you want to eat, but not as much as you are accustomed to. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and I went on a mic and Ike. Oh, okay. These, I bought these. See, these are empty. <laughs> I kept these in my damn uh, med box right here. So I, I got to throw away these box. But this Berry Blast shit right here, I'll never buy those again. I'm not I'm not feeling those. But you guys also know I had to stock up on these Mega Mixes. You know what I'm saying? Mega Mix Edition. So I told myself, said, after my other four boxes are gone, I'm just going to go down to the dollar store and buy me a whole roll of them motherfuckers. I, and, I, and I priced them. They was like... Uh, I think it was like $14. I may go tomorrow and sneak down and just go ahead and go get over. I may buy like three boxes of them. You know what I'm saying? Real raw and uncut. So, yeah. So, like I said, we have video. This is like day 11. You know what I'm saying? And um, I keep stressing it out there that I appreciate y'all watching the vlogs because I'm like, I was surprised. I was like, wow. The analytics is telling me real, real good about it, though. You know, because it, it, it tells you that how long of a time span of people are watching the videos and stuff. 
And that's what the reason why I had to um, cut down the unboxings because I was doing like five minute unboxings and I look at the statistics in the um, analytics and people were only watching like only like two minutes of it. And then when it goes down, people are, people are not watching the rest of the video. I'm like, okay, so why am I filming, wasting my time with the editing, making long videos like that and people aren't watching it? I'm telling you, this is the reason why shit be stopping on some of these channels. And, you know, a lot of y'all be coming to ask, like, what happened to this? You know, how come you don't do this to, you know, certain kind? I mean, how come, you know, certain uh, creators stop doing certain videos? It's because of the statistics that we watching. You know what I'm saying? So I get a brain fart in my brain sometimes. So you guys don't mind me. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yeah. So that's how it is, y'all. Yeah. So anyways, y'all, I've been trying to write this Christmas song. So hopefully I can get it done. If I get it done. So it goes, it's the year of December. Everyone begins to feel the joy for thoughts of the holiday each year to remember. Families come together and bunched around the fire. Keeping them drinking the warmth of cocoa and spice cider. The best cool weather is waking up, yeah, yeah. To the soft white angel snow. Every day, happy and joyful with the noise full of laughter. Yeah, I'm working on it, y'all. So maybe y'all can hear it, though. Never, never know. One, two, three. Merry, Merry Christmas, Happy, Happy Holiday, everyone around the world, Happy, Happy Holiday. It's the year of December, everybody begins to feel the joyful thoughts and love of this holiday to remember. Families come together, bunched around the fire, keeping them so drinking the warmth of hope. Guys, I was doing on a new Christmas song. But right now, it's in the rough draft stages for y'all to hear. I gotta do a touch up to put the final version of it on my YouTube channel. But uh, this is what you guys are hearing. Happy holiday, I love you. That's the name of the song. Sound pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Wait, comment, subscribe. Like I said, y'all. Love y'all. Thank y'all for checking out this vlog, baby. We got that number 12 up next, baby. Day, day, day. Real raw and uncut. It's Christmas. Christmas. Christmas here. Each year. Christmas. Christmas. Write your Christmas list. Christmas. Christmas. Christmas here. Each year. Christmas, Christmas, right to this Christmas.
Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. It is the holidays, each and